Uplifted by the promised hope of healing and resurrection, we join the people of God in all times and places in praying for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Build us up, Mother and God, as living stones united in your spiritual house. Continually strengthen your church as it is sent forth to proclaim your love. We pray especially for new congregations and those in redevelopment. God, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Humble us, creator God, as part of your creation. Fill us with respect and awe for the world you have made, including volcanoes, ocean currents, tropical rainstorms, glaciers, and other forces that both destroy and create. God, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Align our ways to your love, O oh God, we pray for countries, leaders, and other organizations as they prepare places for those seeking refuge and safety. God, in your mercy, receive our prayer. God of healing and rest, help those whose hearts are heavy and weighed down by many troubles. Comfort their suffering, ease their distress, and carry their burdens, especially Mike, Judy, Charlotte, Nancy, Novi Ray, Sue, Ron, Jimmy, Dominic, Julie, Devin, Ginger, Anne, Renee, Nilsa, Maria Rosa, Leon, George, Dene, Lou, Alex, Lucille, Irma, Marie, June, Audrey, the family and friends of Joe Gazzolo, and Saint. God, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Nurturing God, we pray for those who tend and teach young children for the safe pregnancies of expectant parents and for families who struggle with infertility and miscarriage. We give thanks for all who have shown mother in care, and we remember all for whom this day is difficult. God, in your mercy, receive our prayer. At this time, Lord, we raise up the following prayers, whether spoken aloud or in the silence of our hearts. We'll begin with prayers from our uh, folks watching via Facebook. And if there's anyone here who would like to say a prayer, I invite you to find a microphone to lift, up, lift that up. Um, we begin our prayers today for uh, Patty Raptoy, who is still in the hospital with COVID-19 and sadly is weakening. Oh God, we ask that you hold her, uh, heal her. Uh, God in your mercy. 
Liz Miller asks us to lift up our prayer for all the women who long to be mothers but are struggling with infertility. Mother's Day is a day of, of blessing for some and struggle for others. And, oh, God, we, we know, know that, and we ask you to please um, comfort and strengthen all of us in this on this day. Um, Sandra Henry, Sandy lifts up prayers of thanksgiving for her daughters and mother on this Mother's Day and for, for their continued health. We lift up Jeannie Van Cleve. We pray for Robert Javanay's daughter um, in rehab and pray for her and others who fight the struggle of addiction every day. God, in your mercy. Receive our prayer. We want to lift up this morning again the Lokins, um, Elizabeth and Jim and Audrey and um, Glenn, as they are all gathered in Minnesota as Audrey um, lives her last days of life. God, in your mercy. I want to lift up a friend of Kathy Crager, uh, her best friend, who is facing her first Mother's Day without her mother, who died of COVID-19 a month ago. We also want to um, lift up prayers of thanks. Rafi, who is an essential worker, lift up his prayer um, that he got a negative test, coronavirus test, and um, he prays for everyone's safety, all of his coworkers' safety. God, in your mercy. Receive our prayer. Um, for Pastor Ralph Mittling, healing, healing for his knee after tripping on Ellie's wonderful sidewalks and a good outcome for Willie's surgery on Tuesday. We pray too for Clinton Washington who passed of COVID-19 this week and Joan Lee, his wife and their children whom he leaves behind. Art asks us to pray, especially for mothers who are experiencing homelessness. And I'd like to add um, a prayer for all the mothers whose children are out on the streets and the mothers don't know where they are. Comfort them on this day. Prayers too for Sink's miracle from COVID-19, miracle recovery from COVID-19 in only a few days. Sink is well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Hallelujah. And so has Sink. God in your mercy. Receive our prayers. For what else would the people of God like to pray this morning? Any other prayers? I pray for you all. And I pray to God for th in thanksgiving for all of the dedication that you bring to make church possible um, for the people who can't be here today. It's a huge gift that you bring. And I, I thank God for each and every one of you for making that possible. God, in your mercy. Receive our prayer. All right. Generous God, you call into your brilliant light all who have died. Give us faith to take hold of the promise of your eternal life. God, in your mercy, receive our prayer. I just noticed one other prayer from Erwin David. We want to lift up his dear cousin, Myrna, who is facing health challenges. So do keep Myrna in your prayers as well. With bold confidence in your almighty love, in your love, almighty God, we place all for whom we pray into your eternal care through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you all and always. And also with you. Peace be with you and um, we'll go like this. Send some love to peace and love to you. Peace and love to the world. From St. Matthew's. May you experience God's peace this week. Remember, you got a swing anchor in Jesus. <laughs> yeah. All right, what do we do now, Kim? Uh, parish announcements. Oh, parish announcements, your turn. Yes, my turn. Uh, so, just a reminder of this week's online opportunities at St. Matthew's. Um, so we have our adult forum immediately following as soon as Pastor can get back to the office and turn it on. Recreation is gathering tomorrow night at 6 p.m. And this week is council. So executive uh, starts at six and uh, the, rest, the rest of council starts at seven. Uh, the Zoom link is the same one as we've been using? Yes, we now, all of our ministries have recurring links. And it's also in the bulletin that you should have gotten in your email. 
and wellness group and on facebook on the facebook events okay and the wellness group on wednesday at 6 p.m and then we'll be back here live and in person well at least some of us in person uh next sunday and saint max book club is coming up on sunday may 31st and reading delia owens where the crawdads sing so and i have one, have one one more, more announcement um you might notice there's a basket up here with bread in it and some more uh, communion cups we'll be doing some additional uh consecrating of these elements in a moment um and just want to put out the invitation you might have seen it in the email that if you would like to um, pick up some additional elements, pre-consecrated elements, and in order to participate more fully during the communion portion of our worship, please feel free to um, text me or Leon and come by. Uh, you can pop open your trunk, we can drop it in, and there'll be contactless distribution of uh, communion elements. Excellent. All right, and so now we will continue with our offering. Uh, for those of you at home, if you haven't already done your online offering, you will please feel free to go to the St. Matthew's website and click the donate button. And or uh, I imagine somebody is momentarily posting the link. So thank you, and now we will continue. With a shout of joy, bread is broken, the wine is poured, Christ is broken and sealed. Jesus lives again, earth can breathe again, that's the word of the Lord. Jesus lives again, earth can breathe again, that's the word of the Lord. Christ is able to make us one. At the table he sets the toast, teaching people to live to bless, love and word and indeed express. Jesus lives again, earth can breathe again, that's the word around the top Jesus lives again, earth can breathe again, that's the word around the top Risen one, as you broke bread with the disciples on the shore, meet us now in this meal. Nourish us to follow you, using our gifts to feed the hungry and tend the weary, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb, who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so, with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, and with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. she was betrayed our lord jesus took bread and gave thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take and eat this is my body given for you do this for the remembrance of me again after supper he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it for all to drink saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin do this for the remembrance of me 
Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The table of life is spread before you. Feast on the goodness and mercy of God. Living God, you have greeted us in our brokenness and nourished us with the body of Christ broken for us. Risen to new life with you, send us now to bear your healing love into the wounded world. In the name of our risen Savior and Lord, amen. Amen. To all of you far and wide, I want to just wish you a blessed week. I hope this is um, a week where you really experience um, the grounding and the building that we can do in the name of Jesus. Um, be with you. We're with you. God is with you. The blessing of the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit surround and sustain you, keep you from harm, and fill you with courage. Amen. Christ raised up for the world. Go in peace, share the good news. Alleluia. Thanks be to God and farewell people of St. Matt. See you next week.
Thank you.